Hello, welcome to RVR Closet. So, a comparison between the ProSim Quaif and the ProSim Lite version 2. And uh, yeah, the whole reason why I bought the Lite V2. And uh, I'm really glad I did. Uh, so, uh, there are differences between those. The looks is one. Both are pretty bulky and cumbersome. The Pro version is a bit longer, not as tall in the body, and the Pro Lite uh, is a bit uh, taller in the body. The Pro version has a bit taller shaft from the base of the shifter up to the piano than the Pro Lite version. As you can see here, I'm trying to show a bit. Both have a window, so you can see a bit of the internals. The Pro has uh, only this uh, small window in the back showing the cog inside, uh, whereas the Pro Lite has a window both front in the top and also on the back side of the shifter. Both have those uh, really hefty bolts and uh, nuts to adjust the tension, and uh, yeah, they are heavy duty shifters, both of them. One other difference is that the Pro Lite is a bit more dampened or muffled in the sound. It don't have this high pitched sound as the Pro version has. So the Pro version do make more noise. I wouldn't call the Pro Lite a quiet shifter, but it is quieter. One option you have with the Pro version that you don't have with the Pro Lite is this uh, gear lockout system that uh, ProSim is working on. That's what those holes are for in the back of the base and also in the shaft itself. That option isn't available on the Pro Lite version. Another pretty big difference is the price. The Pro Sequential is uh, more than twice as much as the Pro Lite version. So uh, yeah, quite a bit of difference uh, when it comes to uh, the money. But uh, yeah, to sum this up, which of the shifters are the best? I would say this is a no-brainer to go for the Pro Lite version. Not only is the Pro Lite cheaper, I'm actually liking the sound and feel better on the Pro Lite than the Pro Sequential. There is something to it making it feel so nice that's lacking or doesn't come through in the Pro version. And also the sound. The sound in the Pro is a bit more high pitched and also have a bit of this resonance. The Pro Lite doesn't have this and yeah, a bit dampened or muffled but still makes good noise and uh, really nice noise. Especially one thing that I'm really liking with the Pro Lite that uh, I'm missing a bit on the Pro Sequential is when you release the lever after you engage the gear. It makes a really nice clicking noise that I hear. Uh, really really like. So yeah, that was a bit uh, surprising actually. Uh, I didn't expect it to be so good, the amount of performance you get for the money. Yeah, something to really consider if you are looking to get the sequential shifter and want a bit more realism. I think the Pro Lite is the one to go for. I would actually say that the Pro Lite V2 feels like I expected the Pro to feel. I do think that Pro Sequential looks better. So if that's something you uh, consider important, that you just have to have it because of the looks or this uh, gear lockout mechanism, if that's a selling point for you, yeah, then I guess you need to go for the pro version. Thanks for watching. Hope you liked the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. And I see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye. Whispering goals are hiding in the clouds. Laughing voices inside